In the book, so many outstanding women have shared their insights and inspirations. This is a classic business school textbook case here. You've got a management team that was ineffective. They didn't listen to their customers. They lost their audience. They lost their value. They didn't watch market trends. I'm going to have to disagree with you. I don't think anybody's getting fired over that because think about this. What are we talking about here right on this show? What's all over the media? Mercedes-Benz. It's too embarrassing to the White House. And quite frankly, this isn't about principle. It's about politics. We've been through a rough couple of years in business in general, small businesses particularly. And things are starting to prove just a little bit. By nature, I'm a journalist and a writer. Do you know social media is like the greatest game changer since sliced bread? I interviewed on a radio show that I do um, a guy out in, in North Carolina. He's a real estate agent. He has become the go-to real estate guy in the North Carolina area because of a blog talk radio show, a blog, and his social media efforts. I was in Washington, D.C., and I walked in, and I was getting my coffee, and I was going to speak at this event. This woman comes up to me and says, Susan, it's so great to see you. How are you doing? Gosh, it's nice to... And I looked at her, and I said, excuse me, I'm sorry. Do I know you? She said, no, 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 but I follow you on Twitter. Passion is life's energy. It's what gets us up early in the morning, and it's what keeps us going. And I have to tell you what, folks, if you're going to start your own business and you think and believe in this myth of work-life balance, forget about it. You're going to work longer and harder than you have ever worked in your entire life. So you have to have passion. But passion doesn't make payroll. Where am I going to find the money? Think about the people you need to help you grow that business. And what kind of people am I going to have to surround myself with to get to where I want to go? Because when you're starting a business and it starts to grow and you start getting busy, all of a sudden you're overwhelmed and you're thinking, oh my gosh, I have to have some help. And what do you do? You reach out and you grab the first warm body that walks by and you pull him in the door and you say, come work for me. And usually that's a family or a friend. And you know what? Most of the time, that doesn't work out. And unfortunately, I've seen a lot of friendships die and a lot of uncomfortable Thanksgiving dinners. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to say something that you may not like. One thing I would encourage you to do, I'm going to put my lawyer hat on here. At the end of the day, it is all about making money. And if you can't make money, then don't go do it. So I hope that helps. Thank you. Do I want a small piece of a big pie or a big piece of a smaller pie? If you'd like a chance, like Jeff, to pitch your product on our elevator, just send us an email. I'm Susan Wilson-Solovic, and thanks for watching.